Biology students, today we're going to be doing some stuff on photosynthesis. We're on a brand new topic. Let's jump in. So what's the whole point and big idea of this photosynthesis business? Well, the whole point is to make glucose. And glucose is the sugar that is made by transforming or changing light energy into chemical energy. Notice that I used a different word for transform, change, that you could write in your notes that could help you. But this new thing, glucose, we need to understand that that's a type of sugar, right? And we make it through this process, photosynthesis. We turn light energy into chemical energy. This is not done by us humans. We're consumers. It's done by autotrophs, things that make their own food, also called producers. So now we got to make sure, do we really understand autotrophs and producers back from our ecology unit? Hmm. Next, where does this happen? Well, it happens in the chloroplast. We know that the chloroplast looks like that weird bean shape that has those pancake-like stacks. That's a chloroplast. Chloroplasts are only in plant cells. Keep in mind that inside the chloroplast is that green pigment. That pigment's called chlorophyll. We remember that chlorophyll is the pigment because it fills the chloroplast with color. Fill for fills it up with color. All right, so that pigment is really good at catching sunlight's energy. It's like a big catcher's mitt for getting that energy out of sunlight, and it's going to use that energy to make sugar. So what's the big chemical equation we have to memorize? Here it is. You have to know it in a couple different forms. You need to know what the words are and what side of the equation they are on. Not only that, you need to know what the actual chemical formula is. We will be practicing these in class, but it is really important you write this down accurately. So what does it say? It says first, the first reactant or thing that is required for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide. We write down carbon dioxide as CO2. This two means that there's two oxygens, and the six means that there's six whole carbon dioxide molecules. Carbon dioxide is the molecule, and this six means we're multiplying it by six. All right, that six in the front is referring to a balanced chemical equation. That is so that we have the same amount of carbon on this side of the equation, on the left side, as we do on the right side. The next thing that we need or require for photosynthesis as a reactant on the left side is water. Water is H2O. How many waters do we have? Well, water is H2O and there's a six in front, so we have six waters. In the water molecule, H2O, how many hydrogens are there? Two. How many oxygens? Only one. When there's nothing next to it, that means there's just one. Another thing required by photosynthesis is sunlight. We can write sunlight on the left side, but oftentimes it's right above the arrow on the equation. On a chemical equation, we must have an arrow showing the direction of the equation. Do not write an equal sign. It must be an arrow. Now for what is made during photosynthesis. Well, we said sugar is made, and that sugar is called glucose. Glucose is the hardest part for most students to remember. It's C6H12O6. Because there's so many of each of these different things, that is why we have these weird, funny numbers in front. All right, that's glucose, our sugar. What is the other product we make from photosynthesis? Well, we really appreciate that plants give us oxygen, and that is what is made in photosynthesis. Oxygen is O2. How many O2 molecules are there? Six of them, because there's a six in front. So what is made? Glucose and oxygen. What is needed? Carbon dioxide and water. We will practice this in class, I promise, all right? There's some tricks that we can use to get it right for a quiz coming up. So keep that in mind. This is what it looks like more simply. But you have to have to practice it and memorize it. Dun, dun, dun. Last little bit. So not all things do photosynthesis using the sun's energy. Because some things that are producers live in the deep, deep ocean where there's no light. When there's no sunlight, photosynthesis in the deep ocean in darkness. Some organisms that are producers use chemical energy. And we call that chemical energy producing chemosynthesis. And they still can do a cool process kind of like photosynthesis. They just use chemicals to do it. So cool. Great job, guys. We'll practice this in class.